some love. So it's been about a year and two months since I went natural, which was in a, well from when I'm recording this. Um, <laughs> I'm giving it away now <laughs> but yeah no October 2017 is when I went natural and five things that I have learned the first thing is I mean this is not really in the order that I've learned them but first thing I'm going to share with you is that I prefer shape over length now when I first started I was all about the length I was like yep I want long hair and the pictures that I was seeing and the YouTubers, they all had long hair and I really wanted that hair and I still do want long hair. I have a desire for long hair but shape is, it really can be that like cherry on the top of the cake, like it really can bring out the best um, of the shape of your face and just your overall look and that's why I currently have um a pin at the back of my hair. The second thing is what is the purpose of the product? Meaning when I first started um, this natural journey I just was a product junkie. I bought, I want to say anything and everything but uh, not really but I did buy a lot of products and especially when I went to the Afro hair show in May this year I spent next to 300 pounds and uh, probably the equivalent of like you know 390 US dollars I don't know just off the top of my head but now what I'm learning is buy products that I actually need so for example if I notice that the elasticity of my hair is going then I'll buy a product based upon elasticity that being said I always want to do elasticity treatments now about every six weeks but if I feel like my hair is dry or brittle to buy a product around that if I feel that I want more volume then to buy a product for that that being said, that will still kind of give me a range of products and I still don't, I don't just want to use one product. I do want to have a staple product that I use the majority of the time, but I would like to switch it up from time to time. And of course, I will still be buying products to do reviews for you as well. Another thing I learned is do what the product says. <laughs> So for example, uh, another video that I did, for the first time I did what the product said. So this Twisted Sister Foaming Curl Whip Pomade with coconut, avocado, almond and honey. It says to section hair in five parts and apply two pumps to each section and massage in from roots to tips. Now that's what I did. I um, That being said, I probably didn't go right in at the tip because I try not to do that to avoid product build up but that's probably why also I feel like I get more frizz uh, towards my roots probably because I don't all, um, apply the product at the roots of my hair but when I did actually do the rest of what it said I found that it worked really well and I didn't overuse the product which is great it will last longer and I generally was heavy handed when I first started as well but doing what it says helps me not to be as heavy handed so the fourth one is It is what it is, meaning if it is a rinse out conditioner, leaving it in for an hour, putting a plastic cap, going under the hood and dryer without a plastic cap, using the steamer, leaving it in overnight will not change it to a deep conditioner. Now I did this just from watching other videos and people having conditioners and saying, oh I'll just use it as a leave-in conditioner or have a rinse out conditioner and use it as a deep conditioner. but it's best to use a deep conditioner to actually deep condition your hair and it's best to use a leave-in conditioner for as a leave-in conditioner um, that being said I'm sure there is always exceptions to the rule where you might find that one product says to do one thing like a product says it's for twist outs and you use it as a wash and go and it it works absolutely fine but um, for me personally, what I want to start doing is buying products according to what it says it would do and then using it for that purpose. So buying 
elasticity products for elasticity treatment, buying deep conditioners to do a deep conditioner, buying leave-in conditioners or leave-in treatments and then using it as a leave-in conditioner or a leave-in treatment and and also one thing I have done is even got a deep conditioner and leaving it in overnight. I've also done it with my pre-poos and I'm not going to um, do that anymore. And the fifth thing that I really learned is... enjoy every stage again when you well, when I first started I was all about you know really wanting to get the length and I wanted healthy hair as well because healthy hair grows and I don't want long hair that's damaged um, I mean it's not gonna look as good as if it wasn't damaged so I really but I really want to enjoy every stage because I actually hear quite a lot of um, people saying I miss those stages when I had short hair and maybe that's why some people do grow their hair and then cut it again there are some people out there waiting to compliment you if you would just show your hair show it at whatever stage it is even if you've shaved it to the point where you've gone to the barber and just literally cut it so that there's like a millimeter coming out of your hair there is somebody out there waiting to compliment you with your hair like that those are the five things that I have learned about going natural in the past 14 months um, and I'm sure there's definitely more to learn and I look forward to learning and growing with you so please subscribe for more natural videos and please take care bye Shaven.